How to recognize when someone is taking advantage of you in a relationship. Anyone may come across individuals who are completely self-absorbed and do not care about anyone else. There's no doubt that you're familiar with one. But here's how to detect whether someone is taking advantage of your good fortune in a relationship. Each and every person has the potential to become a victim of exploitation when it comes to this aspect. While you are alive and kicking, you will come across at least one individual, and maybe hundreds, who will attempt to take advantage of you at some point in your life. It's possible to avoid being used on occasion, but one of the ways to learn how to recognize when you are being used is to understand what it feels like to be the one who is being used in the first place, though it is the most inefficient method of learning. However, this does not indicate that you should place yourself in a position where you could be taken advantage of. Actually, no one should ever be allowed to do anything like that to you under any circumstances. Therefore, I've put together this video to provide you some insight into what you should be on the lookout for. What precisely distinguishes someone who is taking advantage of you in a relationship? Is it that the persons they are now are likely to have been formed by their upbringing? Or what personality characteristics should be on the watch for? These questions will be answered in further detail in this video. To begin with, someone who is taking advantage of you is not a very endearing individual. Despite the fact that it seems to be uncomplicated to notice this, it is not always the case in practice, though it's possible that other people may find them to be rather amusing. But it's one of their dishonest ruses. If people didn't like them and didn't fall for their methods, they may not be as readily misled by someone who is taking advantage of them. Therefore, you may not even be aware that you are being taken advantage of while also being mistreated and being exploited by them. This is because they seem to be trustworthy in the vast majority of instances. A person's inability to recognize when they are being taken advantage of makes it far simpler to take advantage of them and get away with it. Another way to detect and recognize someone taking advantage of you is that you will find it hard to argue with the truth that they are much too focused with their own personal interests. And this is a proven fact. Although, Having a strong sense of self is a fundamental survival drive for the great majority of the population. This propensity manifests in varying degrees throughout their everyday lives and in a wide range of situations. In the pursuit of his or her own selfish aims, someone who takes advantage of you does not care about the consequences of his or her actions on others in his or her immediate environment. No other realization is more important to them than the realization that they are at the center of the universe. They want things done their way and at the time of their choice. And it must be accomplished in the smallest period of time that is realistically possible for them. The needs of others around them are not taken into account while they are going about their daily lives as they should be. It is generally known that the majority of people like this spend the majority of their time and money trying to find out how to get the things they want in the first place. Alternatively, they might be labeled as a narcissist who is self-absorbed and self-centered. Someone who is incapable of empathizing with the sentiments of others who are in their immediate vicinity. These individuals are unable to see things from other people's viewpoints because they are unable to put themselves in the shoes of those other people. This is the explanation behind this. No other realization is more important than the realization that they are at the center of the universe. And no other realization is more significant than the realization that they are the center of focus. Everything revolves around them. The question is, is it possible to find out how they ended up like this? Do you think their behavior is as a consequence of their upbringing? Did their behavior develop as a result of their upbringing? Well, the solution on the other hand is actually pretty difficult. Some people are born with a predisposition to become addicted to taking advantage of others. Some other develop this bad character through time as a result of their circumstance. Not because they wish to be like this, but because of their life experiences. If their parents were neglectful of their needs when they were growing up, it is conceivable that they have been exposed to mental or physical abuse as a result of that neglect. As a result, it is not difficult to comprehend how someone might start taking advantage of others in a relationship. When their expectations are not satisfied, they get resentful, and after they have reached a certain age, they wish to turn the tables on others. Again, this does not suggest that you should overlook their inappropriate behavior, to the contrary of popular opinion. 
the inverse is correct. However, while it is not absolutely required to comprehend how someone ended up in that predicament, it may be advantageous. Remember to keep an eye out for number one, which is none other than yourself. In spite of the fact that they have experienced bad events in their life, this does not give them the right to take advantage of anybody including you. Having the ability to identify the warning signs that someone is attempting to take advantage of your weaknesses, or that they are always taking advantage of you is extremely important. Everyone should be on the alert for these warning flags, but they should be especially vigilant in intimate personal connections between persons, individuals and your family, at work, at school, and even your next door neighbor may participate in these bad behavior. Precaution should be taken to bring to your attention these points of concern before proceeding. However, understanding how to recognize these warning signs is just half of the battle as it is with many other aspects of life. It is also critical that you understand how to respond to them. Because the only thing that matters is that you take action to fix the issue as quickly as possible. Staying mute will not make the situation any more comfortable when you are aware that you are being used by another person. And before you take any action, the first step is to identify the qualities of the person who is taking advantage of you. You'll be able to maintain some level of separation from them as a result of this skill. The first sign that something is wrong is that you're feeling a little strange. When someone takes advantage of you, you are well aware of what is happening to you. The problem is just that majority of people do not trust their gut feelings despite the fact that we all possess this ability. But I advise you to take a mental connection with it if you can. Whether this person is someone you want in your life, or someone you don't want in your life, it will be revealed by your physical reaction to them. As a result, you will experience uneasiness as if there is an imbalance in the relationship. And I know that someone who is unstable in their relationships is not someone you want to be in a relationship with. The second clue that they are taking advantage of you is when you find yourself unable to say no to them. You may be able to say no to other people, but when it comes to them, you are unable to do so. You're afraid of saying no and you're concerned about what will happen if you do say no. Do you think this seems like a good idea? Does this seem like a relationship that is in good shape? Of course this is not the case. If they make you feel bad about yourself for saying no, then they are attempting to sway your decision and manipulate you. The third sign to recognize when a person is taking advantage of you is that they only communicate with you when it is convenient for them. When you contact or message them, they seldom respond within a reasonable amount of time. In fact, it might take up to several days for them to return your phone call or reply your messages. But when they need anything from you, uh, they start disturbing you with calls and text messages. This shows that they only care about one thing which is getting something from you. This is exactly what you need to comprehend. In this case, it is not a true relationship. Rather, it is a convenience kind of relationship. They only remember you when they need you. And when they are done or gotten what they want, they will discard you like you don't exist. The number four sign that shows that someone is taking advantage of you is that they subsist solely on favors. Not only are you someone who performs a lot of favors for them, but they also never do anything in return for your favors with them. And because this is a self-centered relationship, they are solely concerned with what is in their own best interests. I tell you the truth, it's not worth it. And even if they manage to do you a favor or two, it'll only be because they need to continue to employ you in some capacity. Another sign you need to watch out for which is the fifth point is that they're only pleasant to you when they want to be. We all possess the potential to exert control over our emotions. And when you are trying to determine if someone is taking advantage of you, pay attention to their conduct when they aren't relying on you. With this, you will be able to see that when they don't require your assistance, they neglect or are unpleasant to you. Being selectively kind to you isn't something that happens by accident. It's not a good indicator when someone is only pleasant to you when you do something for them. It's an obvious sign that someone is attempting to take advantage of you. Number 6. They betray your faith in them. Perhaps you realize that they have begun to pursue a relationship with someone you admire or someone interested in a relationship with. Or they have adopted some of your views in order to advance in their jobs. However, 
The point is that they are violating your confidence. You shared your thoughts and dreams with them because you have faith in them. But it is not a two-way street. When you see this particular sign, know for sure that this individual is taking advantage of you for their own selfish benefit. Number 7. They are quite pushy when they don't get their way. They become highly demanding and manipulative in their behavior. It's difficult to say no in these circumstances. They employ deceptive language to make you feel guilty. Frequently heard are phrases such as I thought you were my buddy, or you're not being a good friend at the moment. They would never force you to do anything you don't want to do if they weren't exploiting you to accomplish their goals. Number 8. When you need assistance, they are nowhere to be found. The following example is extremely typical while attempting to find out how to recognize whether someone is taking advantage of you. When you want assistance, they are not available to assist you. But if it is the other way around, if they are the one in need of assistance, you are always there for them. But when you need their help, they will not help you. It's possible they tell you that they're not feeling well or that they have a very hectic schedule. There will always be some sort of justification and it continues to happen over and over. When you notice this, please know that they're taking advantage of you. Number 9. They solely communicate through text. Perhaps they will call, but only in an emergency situation. Usually, they stick to texting since there is no need for them to put any more effort into the relationship than necessary. If they never text you for anything other than a favor, then you should know that they are taking advantage of you. It's evident that you aren't worth the phone call at this point. Being taken advantage of is an idea that no one likes to entertain let alone have to go through it first and themselves. Consequently, we begin to mistrust our own self-worth, and we begin to feel that we are unable to place our faith in anybody or anything else. Persons who are aware of how to recognize when someone is taking advantage of them will most likely be able to learn to recognize the signs and take necessary action before the situation deteriorates significantly further. To put it frankly, here is where it all starts when it comes to recognizing if someone is taking advantage of you in a relationship. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen.